The purpose of this video is to review how we can capture variance uh, when doing a cycle count or when doing in Odoo, what's known as an inventory adjustment. First thing you'll do is you'll go into inventory and let's look at what we have on hand. Looks like we have 10 units of product uh, test product. When I do an adjustment, I go to operations, inventory adjustment, and here I can create a new adjustment or cycle count. We'll call this June cycle count. And I'll just do it on uh, one product right now, just for this example, and we'll select that product here. I could do it on all products or one product category or select products manually, so on and so forth. We'll just do one product. It's all I have in the system and I'll start the inventory. And here you'll see it will list all products which meet, meet the criteria I wanted to match. And I can go in and I can see here the theoretical quantity, which is the quantity that the system thinks I have on hand. Then the next field over to the right is the real quantity, which allows me to adjust it to reference or reflect the actual quantity we have on hand, which in some cases, of course, can uh, be different than the theoretical quantity, hence the value uh, and purpose of cycle counting. Um, then that field over to the right is uh, the difference, which is just simply going to measure the difference between the real quantity and the theoretical quantity. Then the variance is going to calculate the uh, percentage of the variance between uh, those two values. So if I have 12 units instead of 10, I'll see there's a difference of two and a variance of 20%. If I have 20 units, I can see a difference of 10, a variance of 100%. If I have two units, a difference of negative eight, a variance of negative 80%. And of course, if we go in and we validate this, it will run those adjustments and update our stock on hand to reflect the new value. So and obviously, if I had automated in inventory and all that, then we would post, um, you'll see the stock moves here, um, as well as the adjustment moves here. And you'd also see all the inventory, uh, and excuse me, all the accounting journal entries and so on and so forth posted, uh, assuming you had the valuation and the costing method set correctly. Uh, so that's in a nutshell how it can work. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out and let me know. Thanks so much and have a great day.